In this video, we're going to try and understand why an equation of this form will give us a surface looking like this. Okay, so, so let's start by putting 0 into the z. Put 0 into the z. Um, so, so imagine this to be positive 1, positive 2. In the z direction, it will be negative 1, negative 2. So when you put 0 into the z, um, you're looking at... Uh, you're looking at a, a horizontal piece of paper. Well, this is being z equals 1, z equals 2, z equals negative 1, z equals negative 2. So when you put 0 into the z, it means you're looking at a sheet, a horizontal sheet of paper uh, at a height of 0. So when you put when you put 0 into this z, this whole thing here will disappear, giving you this a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. So um, so the minute you see this, then, then you should be able to picture this graph. Um, you're going to get a circle or ellipse. Yeah, so, so, uh, so at a height of 0, you're going to get a circle or an ellipse, depending on your, your constants. Okay, so, so as, you, as you increase the height, so let's, let's, say if you put the, let's say if you put 2 into the z here, that will then give you 4 over c squared, and then this thing here, hang on, bear with me, x squared over a squared equals 1. Let's just imagine all these constants to be 1. So it will look something like this. Uh, plus this, minus this, equals this. And then you add 4 to both sides. That will then give you this. Uh, that will then give you this. So when, when you put 2 into the z, it means you're looking at a height. Bear with me. It means you're looking at a height of 1, 2. You're looking at a height of 2. But, um, but the thing is, if you put 2 into this z here, then, then you can see that your your um, your radius is getting bigger as opposed to the the one earlier. So so when you move the z, when you when you put two into the z, you can see that the radius has increased. That's why you get a bigger circle, or you're going to get a bigger ellipse depending on your depending on your constants. So uh, so as you move the as as you move the z about, you can see the radius will increase. So so um, so the 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 circle or the ellipse will just get bigger. Or, or, or smaller. So hang on, bear with me. So so as as you move z about, as you as you move z about, you're just going to get an ellipse. Uh, you're going to get an ellipse or a circle here, and you can see that it gets bigger depending on your your constants. It just gets bigger, or or if you move down, it would just get bigger and bigger and bigger and so on. So depending on the height, um, you can see that this thing will increase as you change. Z as you as you as you um, insert values as, into the Z, the uh, the radius will just increase. Okay, so now let's um, let's put zero into uh, into the X. So when you put zero into the X, this thing here will disappear, giving you this, giving you this. Hang on, giving you this. So when you put zero into the X, it means imagine this as one. Imagine this as 2, and then this to be minus 1, minus 2. So when you put 0 into the z, you're actually doing this. Bear with me. When you put 0 into the x, it means, well, this is x being x equals 1, x equals 2. x equals negative 1, x equals negative 2. When you put 0 into, into the x, you're looking at a vertical sheet of paper being located at x equals 0. So, um, so, so if you look at this, hang on. So the minute I give you this, you should be able to sketch your graph. Hang on, you should be able to sketch this graph. Let's let's say z here and y here. So because of this negative, and you're you're moving in the z direction. So there's nothing here in the z direction. So you're going to get a hyperbola looking like this. Um, so remember, I'm expecting you to be able to sketch. The minute I give you this, I'm expecting you to be able to sketch this graph. Now, if you look at this, um, if you look at what's being drawn on this sheet of paper, um, this is your z direction. So that's your z here. This is your this is your y here, and then this is your y here. So when you when you look uh, when you look at the intersection of the surface and the sheet of paper, you're going to get the right hand side here, 
So this right hand side here will correspond to this. And then the left hand side here, the left hand side here will correspond to this. And this is y being in the positive direction. This is y being in the positive direction. And then this is y being in the negative direction. And then this is y being in the negative direction. I hope you can see that. Now if you put y, if you put um, if you put zero into the y, if you put zero into the y, this whole thing here would disappear, giving you x squared over a squared minus z squared over c squared equals one. So the minute I give you this, you should be able to um, you should be able to sketch this z x, and then uh, you've got a negative moving in the z direction. So there's going to be nothing here moving in the z direction. You're going to get something like this. So remember, I'm expecting you to be able to sketch this straight away without thinking about it. So from here, that will then give you this graph. Now, when you put zero into the y, you're looking at this. Hang on. So imagine this as being one, being two. This is negative one and negative two. So when you put zero into the y, you're actually doing this. Bear with me. So when y equals one is here, when y equals two is here, when y equals negative 1, it will be here. y equals negative 2 will be here. But because we're putting 0 into the y, the vertical sheet of paper will be right here. And then when, when you look at the intersection between the surface and the vertical sheet of paper, you're going to have this. You're, hang on. You're going to have something like this. You're going to have this. So this corresponds to this. And then, uh, and then on the... Uh, on the negative side, you're going to have something looking like like this, which corresponds to this, because you could imagine because because x is positive in this direction, that's this bit here, and then x being negative in this direction, that corresponds to this being in the negative direction. So you could imagine your your face is here, uh, your face is here looking. In this direction so your your left hand side will be here your left hand will be here your right hand will be here so when you're looking at this thing here your face will be here your left hand will be here your right hand will be here so it will give you this thing here it will give you this thing here so well I hope you can see that so overall this thing here will give you a surface looking like this okay